When we're driving around the city, we rely on signs to help us to get where we're going or to help us to get to our destination. God uses the same thing to help point to us the place where we desire to be, which is heaven. Throughout the Old Testament, God is using prophets to speak of the Savior that is to come. They're speaking of the signs of salvation that's happening in the life of the Israelites. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ is performing miracles. He is you know, sharing his teachings uh, to help point to what we could expect in his kingdom, what to expect in the kingdom of heaven. In our lives, are we looking for those signs as well? Little signs that help point to our life that is to come in heaven. Also, are we thinking about, when we look at ourselves, how are we being a sign of salvation to other people? When people look at our lives, when people are in conversation with us, when people are around us, is our personal life pointing to Christ? Advent is not just a time of looking at the signs of salvation, but also perhaps becoming one for somebody else. This is why the sacraments are so important to us in the Eucharist and in confession, God is pouring out graces in our lives so that we can be a source of grace for other people in their lives. When we light the Advent candles, we're reminded of how Christ is the light of our lives, but also so he could illuminate us so that we could be a light for other people as well. This Advent season, we're challenged not just to look and to be vigilant for the signs of salvation in our lives, but also to be a sign of salvation for other people, to point other people of Emmanuel, God who is with us, to point other people to Christ and his love for us and his kingdom of heaven to come. God bless.